So notice what's happened now. Like we're coming up here and we're going through the ceiling, but our stair is kind of like busting through the floor, right? Like you can't actually get through there. So how do we get through that? So what you can create, because we know that that should be open there, right? But Revit doesn't know what to do with that. So let me back up a little, extend this out so you can kind of see what's going on here. So the stair is trying to come through. And it's modeled through there, but we have stuff in the way. So first of all, let me just get rid of the ceiling so I don't want a ceiling in this space. I just drew that automatically earlier. So we can see our stair is in there, but it's not it's not going through the floor above. It's just it's technically going through, but there's no opening. So in order to change that, what we can do is go here and say, you know what? I want to create a shaft here. It's not letting me create a shaft. So let's see what we're in. We're in the sheet. So let's get to that floor plan. So here. So if you go over here, architecture, and you come over here to these openings, you'll see shaft opening. So this, what this does is basically, um, okay, let's save. A shaft you draw the profile and you tell Revit how high to go with this and it will basically cut everything that you tell it to cut out all the way through the building. So just like a real shaft in a building that's for passing utilities or to do like elevators and stuff like that, you, you put this in and then Revit will go through and chop everything for you. So we can grab, let's just say we want a rectangular one. We can click here, click that guy, and then put it into the corner. And then you can say ground to, and you can do unconnected, or let's just see. So now if we go back to that 3D view that we had before, you can actually see, well that's the elevation. Now it goes through there and both of those floors were cut so we don't want it to cut that bottom one so if I can select that you can go up from here to say negative one we could say maybe just take out the negative make it one and then if we move this all the way up let's see where this goes If we wanted it to go all the way through the building, you could. You can, if we can tab over to that guy. Shafts sometimes are tricky if you don't have an easy way of picking them. So the shaft, you can then go back. Got a lot of views open. You don't have left section of the view. You have what? Last section. Like this is what I have here. That's when I landed the TV. Just show me this. Yep, that's a section box. So you have to turn off. So go to, go to your project browser. Go to this panel that looks like this. That's called the properties panel. Yeah, that one hit PP. And then scroll down, go to the 3D view and scroll down and find section box and then just uncheck it. No, 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 go to the actual 3D view that you have open. And scroll down here, you'll see that you have section box turned on. There. So there you go. Mm -hmm. That's what I was on right now. So, what's your question? Well, so what if you didn't? What if you? What if it was a closed staircase and you only wanted to open it up at the minimum? Uh -huh. Let's say. At seven. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. say seven. Mm -hmm. yes. 
Um, you could make a smaller one. Um, so you'd have to you'd have to calculate which step at the height of the board, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, what you can also do is this. Let me show you. And that's kind of cool. Um, if you pick the stair yeah. and you go, I think it's in here. It's stairs. You can convert. All right, let me back up. Grab my stair. Here, multi-story stairs. If you hit this, you can. It's, it's telling you to go to like an elevation or a section view. But you can pick, like, multiple levels. You can actually go through your whole building, and then Revit will know to continue the stair going up right, with whatever parameters you had set to it before. I'm not sure if that will do exactly what you're saying, but we can look at it. cut through the floor, though. You have to make the shaft the size that you need. Right. Because like, you made a square shaft, but if you wanted to, you can run the shaft, you know, the, uh, you know uh, mm -hmm. just on that side. Run from the top down and then maybe halfway through the, the middle one. Sure. Wherever the height ends up being. Mm -hmm. And then you just make that the shaft, then it's closed, and then the floor just wraps around that. All right. I just didn't know if it was like smart. That's always a pain in the butt. Right. Because it's angle, so it's changing constantly. So let me try and get to that 3D view here. So here you can see it's gone up to there. I'm chopping it now. I just hit that real quick. So the other option, you can do this. You can make the shaft, or if you wanted to, you can actually modify the footprint of the floor. That's what I ended up doing. Yep. I didn't do Right, so you can modify your floor so it has like a notch missing where the stairs coming up, or if you use shaft, it does them all in one go. That's the one benefit to a shaft. You can just take them all the way up. So technically, you would only need it to be like you're saying. Um, if we edit that, well, you I mean, could align. If you put an open stair, it's nice to have the I mean, shaft you can make it all the way up. Mm -hmm. Do you make the shaft? You can make it wherever, and then you can change it because look, once you have the shaft over here, you have the base and the top constraint. So once it's created, it's just like a wall where you adjust that and you can go up or down. Um, so we've got this. We can also go back to here. So let's go to my plan view. So we've got that guy. If I wanted to change this, so let's go to the section box for this. Now these are all connected. And here's a neat thing you can do. Remember we were using the visibility graphic overrides? I can grab this and then if I go here anyway, I'll do the shortcut if you go override graphics and view just by the element I can do surface transparency oh. and make just this guy transparent so I can kind of see through it or you can hide this guy in the view And we can see that going through. So you can see it's kind of weird, but the way it did the That's next one. Adjust the floor, right? Which is what I basically I Yeah, you could, it. or we could adjust the the shaft too, so that the shaft is moved over like that, so that you actually have it here. Um, because that shaft, if I can grab it, 
it's just off of this profile. So if you wanted to, you could do um, another rectangle here. And then you align that face with this one. That one with that one. And then we need to trim this back to there. And then now my shaft will go up through the building like that. Which, if that's what you want, that works. If not, you could also edit this. Okay. It probably is easier to do the shaft in the floor than the floor. Same idea. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm It's just like one of those things where there's like 50 ways you could do it. It just depends which one you want to do. I mean, my shaft. Here's when you can't grab it, you can do this or just a selection like that and filter out everything except shaft. So here we can then make that. If you want to do that, like that. It's a little weird, but it's possible. So we've got that guy in there. Um, if you want to.